You know when they give you four or five or six ingredients and they're like, okay, go make something. Disclaimer, since I've been editing, I realize how bad my bags are, but it is what it is. This lighting makes them look 20 times better than the video. Hello, hello everyone. I haven't filmed a video in about three weeks, so welcome back while I am recording this. I actually just posted my first video in two or three weeks. Uh, I have every excuse in the world not to be filming right now. I'm back home with family, some emergency stuff went on, and I've been moving, packing, lots of life stuff getting in the way that I have not been able to do this in the capacity that I have wanted to. I did not bring makeup on this trip. Like I said, I packed super fast. It was just a quick, small backpack. I have no lighting. I do not have my stand. I have nothing, but I just kind of think that's part of a lifestyle channel, right? You got to do with what you have. So I am just filming this as is. This is my second time recording this entry because the last time I did it right through those doors because the lighting is really great. Uh, however, now my stepmom is working. I pushed it against the glass and it went <laughs> the whole time. And I was like, that's super annoying. Anyway, so randomly I was walking through my kitchen yesterday when I filmed this and I was like, I need to film a video. What is it going to be? And I don't really have the wherewithal with all my stuff to do like a full what I eat in a day. So I was like, what can I do? Oh my God, it's really, really freaking cold out here right now. <laughs> um, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to figure out a meal that I can eat without going to the grocery store. So my family does eat a regular American, standard American diet. However, my stepmom and uh, my family cook a lot. And so I got really, really lucky, as you'll see in this video, of things I could find and use. I feel like if your family's not a cooking family, you're probably not going to find some stuff that I found. Uh, but yeah. I just thought, you know, it'd be really cool. You know, when you're in a pinch or in your places, you do have to get creative. Like, that's just a fact. You have to get creative on what you're looking for or what you can eat. And I just thought it was a cool idea. So, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming and joining me. I will be putting out videos every Thursday now and tracking my journey a lot more because I have maintained all my weight off, so that's super exciting. Uh, I still am 25 pounds down. However, I have not been eating full starch solution. My life has been insane. That's just reality. So, you know, I've just watched certain things to make sure my uh, weight has been maintained, but now we are back on track and we are going. And I just thought it'd be a cool video, something different other than what I eat in a day when my whole life is in boxes, I'm packed and now I'm at my family's house. So thank you for tuning in. Let's get it going. All right, this is what we're working with. Now, I mean, these stand out, obviously. These are, I think, fine. You just gotta check your ingredients. A little bit of soybean oil towards the bottom. So that could be up for interpretation. Is it maximum weight loss approved? No, but it'll still be okay if you're like maintaining. I see these lentils. These are totally fine. We have white beans. So we have lots of beans. Okay, so we could start there. My family has rice. I see rice up here. More rice. And now we're missing a vegetable. So this is just kind of what we got going on. Let's check the fridge because, you know, starch solution, you have to have a vegetable. Ooh, there's some potatoes. I don't know if these are home cooked though. They kind of look store bought, which means there's oil. So I'll probably avoid those. Got some avocados for healthy fats, but it's not maximum weight loss approved. So let's see if we can push it further. All right, so for veggies, I've seen some green onions, spinach, we have lettuce, carrots. So I can make something, ooh, I think it's this cabbage. Cabbage is the jam for steaming. So I could throw some cabbage on top or I could do a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of lettuce and do kind of like a vegan uh, taco bowl. I don't have a lot to work with, so whatever. And add some spinach and just do spinach and lettuce. I actually think that is what I'm gonna do. And I'll kind of just go through what I'm gonna make. And like I said, I'm making all of this from the things my family has. And honestly, they're kind of killing it with stuff they have. For me, what makes the best sauce is, or what makes the best dish is a sauce. 
I realize I'm talking to my camera and I'll probably have to do a voiceover, but um, now you can make a really good sauce out of avocado. You know what I'm saying? It's just really high in fat for me and my train has not been good right now. What makes a bowl is the sauce, right? So you have avocado, which makes an amazing sauce. It's just, I have not been heavy on starch solution because life and I need to be. So now I'm gonna try to create something that works. So we have sr sriracha mayo, it's not vegan mayo. All right, so if I absolutely have to, I can make it from avocado. I do see, it's gonna be such a different video for everybody because I don't have any tools, I have to hold my phone. I literally feel like I'm on like a cooking show where they're like, here's your four items, create a dish. <laughs> but vegan starch solution. Maximum weight loss if I can, because the other items do allow me to do that. See, and I could just, I can go real plain because we do have frozen corn and stuff and I could do, and I think frozen like peas and a couple of vegetables and I could just do lentils with that. Super simple, okay, I'm gonna do two meals because there are some really simple things I can I can make. However, I really wanna try to make this interesting and really be like, this is what you have, what can you make? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um. So I did find a cheating way because God, my family has some goods going on right now because this is kind of becoming a little easy. They have this salsa. Now, if you know anything about me, I hate pre bought salsa, but it's doable. So this is super weird holding this selfie style. My skin is not that happy, but this is what turned out to be. So I think I am gonna do a two part series. Now here's the things I would have added if I went to the grocery store and I bought this myself. Lime, um, a vegan like pork broth or something like that for the beans, lime, coconut milk because this is kind of like my chipotle bowl i would have made my corn salsa so those are all things i would have added so obviously this is not going to be the tastiest dish that you prevent to your you uh sorry present to your non-vegan friends or you know family members trying to impress them to switch over to this lifestyle but this is if you're already on this lifestyle and you're just needing some quick fix and you got to make do with what you have in a fridge just kind of tastes like a bare bones taco salad which is fine my family does have some crunchy tortilla chips you can put in here and they actually do have tortillas so if you wanted to make a makeshift burrito you totally can now this isn't maximum weight loss approved because there is a half of a small actually not a full half a less than a half of a small avocado because you do need sauces with these you could eat it plain I really hate like super plain stuff like that. But those are the main things I would add. If I can only pick one ingredient to add to this, it'd be lime, then it'd be cilantro. But those ingredients I would add, which I mean clearly I'm eating it, so like it's it's fine. <laughs> For the photos I did add cilantro that I bought yesterday. That's why I didn't add it in here. I'm going to add a couple more things because I did go shopping yesterday after that, but I wanted to show you what it looked like with just what was in the fridge. So thank you everybody for watching. I am going to split up the videos and make the lentil one on a different one. And I have it all set out from yesterday, so I did not buy any extra ingredients for it. i just show you a super, super, super plain one if you really are in a pinch. Thank you everybody for watching. I will be posting every Thursday now, so keep an eye out for me. And thank you for watching. Yes, I realize my hair is a mess. I don't know how to put it. it is I just talked really fast. If anybody wants to know, this is actually how fast I talk in real life. I've really tried to slow it down for videos, but.